What's going on guys? It's Jacob Orth here with another video to uh, talk to you guys about the uh, used car buying process I've been uh, going through lately. And here's one that I wanted to talk about. And this is particularly for, you know, I mean this is coming from my experience and my situation here in Vegas. Um, for those of you that are going to be moving here, when you come out here is, you know, when you go car shopping out here, one thing I would say, and this may seem basic, but go and shop at multiple dealers, all right? Like I said, I know that sounds super simple, but being in such a transient city out here, we have so many people who come and go. I mean, you want to take time and you want to go look around and see what options are available for you out here, okay? Because if you don't know anybody, you don't have any kind of referral, you've never bought out here before. I mean, I've lived out here several years now. It's the first time I've had to go buy a car out here. You want to go see what's around and what's available, okay? And you want to make that commitment to, because, you know, there's a few reasons. I mean, one, you know, it'll help probably fight off some of the emotion when you go in there to look to buying a car, because any place you go to, they're, of course, going to try to sell you that day. That's what they want to do. It's a business. They're there to try to make money. So they're going to try to sell you that day, okay? That's what you can expect pretty much anywhere you go. But if you've already got that commitment made up in your mind that you're going to shop in multiple places, then that'll take some of the pressure off because you've already decided, hey, I, whatever this place offers, you know, I still want to go somewhere else, okay? You want to make them try to earn your business, all right? So you want them to be competing for you because said they want you to buy. Whether you're there that day or another day, they're always going to want you to buy. And also, you look around, you may be able to find out something later that you didn't know, which actually happened to me that I'm going to talk about in a video. I went to a place, wasn't going to buy that day, and went and looked, did a little more research, and I found out something that I had checked before, and I didn't really, didn't really cross my mind until after I left and went back home and did a little more research. So you can also find out some more information when you commit to going to other places and give yourself some more time to look. So whether you buy that day, which is of course what the dealership wants, you know, they want you to buy that day. But even if you leave and you come back another day, they're still gonna want you to buy, okay? So make that commitment to go see other places, to take some of the pressure off yourself, because whether it's that day or another day, they're gonna want to, they'll sell you the car no matter what, okay? As long as you're gonna buy, they're gonna do it. So tell me what you guys do. Tell me uh, if you guys maybe go in and you know what you want, you find something you like and you buy it right then that day, or if you're a little more like the approach I'm taking, being new out here, especially in Vegas, where I'm gonna go shop around and take some looks at other places before I commit to anything first, all right? That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.